we're going to see the relationship between the parsec uh, unit of distance and the light curve. The parsec unit of distance comes from the concept of parallax and um, uh, arc seconds. Basically, the idea is if you take a look at something from two different points of views, like you have your thumb out, and you close your left eye, you close your right eye, it looks like the thumb is parallaxing, it's shifting. If you bring your thumb closer and you do it, it looks like the parallaxing is even more, okay? So you're looking at two different things, or you're looking at one thing from two different points of view and the object seems like it's moving or parallaxing, okay? So we can kind of use that concept for a star Imagine this is the Earth, here's the Sun, and then we we'll look at a particular star. Okay, you can make a triangle like that, and you can split this triangle in half. This is one AU, this is known as the parallax angle. Okay, so essentially it's, it's like you can envision the Earth's position in, uh, uh, over here as like your one eye, and the Earth's position on the other side is the other eye, and you're parallaxing to a star. If the star is farther away, the parallax angle is going to be smaller, right? So if you, the Earth is here, the Earth is here. Okay? If the star is much, much farther away, then if you cut that in half, this angle is going to be smaller than this angle, right? So here's how the parsec unit is defined. Since stars are very, very, very far away from us, their parallax angle is going to be very small. So one parsec okay, is the distance from the center of the Earth's orbit, which is the sun, all the way out to a star if its parallax angle is one arc seconds. Okay? So this triangle, we can simply draw like this. This distance is one AU. This is one parsec. And this is an angle equal to one arc second, which is a very, very small angle. It's 1 60th of 1 60th of one degree. So it's kind of like the units of seconds, which is 3,600 seconds in an hour. So this is. Uh, one arc second is one sixtieth of one arc minute, which is one thirty six hundredth of one degree. Okay? And then you know, we already know that 180 degrees is pi radians, right? So from uh, geometry, we know what? You have a distance here and a distance here. We know that the tangent of the angle is uh, opposite over adjacent, right? Uh, so it's 1 AU over 1 parsec. But in our case, the angle is so small that the tangent of the angle is pretty much equal to the angle. Okay, So we can use what's known as the small angle approximation. So this is a very, very, very small angle. So this is just simply equal to the angle, measured in radians. It's equal to 1 AU over 1 parsec. So if I want to know how long is the parsec unit, I more cross multiply, I say 1 parsec is equal to 1 AU divided by uh, 1 arc seconds the data expressed in radians. Okay? So, one arc seconds is how many radians? Well, we are, I already told you one arc second is one three thirty six hundred of a degree. And then to change to radians, I say 180 uh, degrees is pi rads, degree, degree cancel. So, one arc second is equal to pi over. 3600 and 180 rear rats. So one arc second is a very, very, very small, tiny little sliver of a degree. Okay? Just very slice. 
So pi over 3600, 180 rads. That's what uh, you put here. So if I want to know how, uh, what's one parsec, I say one parsec is equal to how many AUs, okay? So one AU divided by pi over 3600, one over 80. So what are you gonna get here? 3600 times 180 divided by pi. I get 20,000, uh, sorry, uh, 206,000, 206,264.806 AUs. So one parsec is a huge unit, 206 AUs, 206,000 AUs. Now in the last video, I showed that one light year was approximately what? It was about 63,000 AUs, right? So if I want to know the relationship between the parsec and the light year, I say 63,236. 63,236.19 AUs is one light year. So divide this by 63,236.19, I get 3.26. So one parsec is 3.26 light years. So even though the light year is a huge unit of uh, measurement, the parsec is even bigger. Now, in the last video, I also mentioned the closest star to us is 4.2 light years away. It takes light 4.2 years to get to us. So how many parsecs would that be? Well, I can divide now 3.26 light years is one parsec. I get 1.29 parsecs. So um, the closest star to us is 1.29 parsecs away from us. So what would its parallax angle be? So now I'm kind of going backwards. Well, one parsec will be one arc second. If, you're, if the distance is farther, the parallax angle is going to be smaller, right? So according to that thumb rule. So now you divide 1 divided by 1.29. So theta is going to be 1 over the distance. 1 over 1.29, you get 0.775 arc seconds. So it's kind of like a relationship. And this gives you units of arc seconds. OK, measured in arc seconds. So if you take the distance in measured in parsecs, you reciprocate it, you get arc seconds. If you already know the arc seconds, you reciprocate it, you get the distance in uh, parsecs. So the closest star to us has a parallax angle of 0.775 uh, arc seconds. Other stars farther away have even smaller parallax angles. That means we need uh, computer, very strong computer instrumentation to find their parallax angle. This is how we do it. We find this is one technique of finding distances to stars. We find their parallax angle, and then from their parallax angle, we find the distance in parsecs. Then we can use the conversion to convert to light years. So you can see something very, very useful here in astronomy in our understanding of the universe. Thank you.